Why would anyone make a goddamn YouTube video about a power strip? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, sorry, Featherpuss. My wife named the cat. See this right here? Complete bullshit. Let me explain why. I went to Home Depot, as I sometimes do, to buy a power strip. And when I got there, there was plenty of choices. But most of them were shitty, cheap, plastic power strips. What I wanted was a metal power strip. Something like this. See? Metal. The reason I like a metal power strip is threefold. One, it's more durable than a cheap, shitty plastic power strip. Two, because it's a little more expensive, it's usually a little better made. And three, if there's some kind of electrical fault inside this thing, instead of melting and then burning like plastic does, this metal will just get hot and hopefully short out and just uh, trip the breaker. So it's a lot safer. And my advice to you, if you're looking at power strips, spend a couple extra bucks and get a metal power strip. And that's exactly what I did. I bought this thing because this proudly proclaims that it's a metal surge protector. In fact, look at it. You can see right up front here, this gray part, that's metal. Listen. Great, right? Exactly what I wanted. So this was 13 bucks. Cheap plastic power strips were like four bucks. So I picked this up thinking, oh, it's just what I want, my metal power strip. I'll get home and open it up and plug shit into it. It'll be great. Well, I got home, I opened it up, and this is what I found. Ugh. Oh, by the way, like most crap from Home Depot, this box was damaged in the store. I didn't notice it until I brought it home, but almost all their boxes are damaged. I don't know what the hell they do there. It's probably customers like me taking it off the shelves, fucking around with it and putting it back. But anyway, look at this. See the back there? That's not metal. I don't know if you can tell from the sound, but who gives a shit? Trust me, it's plastic. In fact, most of this thing is made of plastic. The ends are plastic, the bottom is plastic, the bottom comes up the sides, that's plastic. This end is plastic too. In fact, the only metal on this is this little facade right in the front, and that's the only part that shows through on the box. So you think you're getting a metal power strip because, I don't know about you, when I hear the words metal power strip, I think of something like this, which is all metal all around, well, except for the receptacles, but what are you gonna do there? If you make those out of metal, you'll end up with a big fucking problem on your hands. So, what a surprise. Now, this being made of plastic kind of ruins the point of having a metal power strip. It's no more fire safe than any other plastic power strip. It's no more durable than any other plastic power strip. I mean, yeah, I guess if something hits it right here on this metal part alone, you know, it'll be fine. But the rest of this plastic is susceptible to cracking or breaking, just like any other plastic power strip. So, that's pure bullshit. And by the way, I blame this entire thing on Home Depot. I know Home Depot doesn't have factories, at least I don't think they do. They don't make the power strips, but Defiant, that's what brand this is, is a Home Depot exclusive brand. That means either Home Depot ordered these power strips to be made by some factory somewhere, or they designed them, or they designed the packaging, and even if they didn't design the packaging, they approved the packaging, and on this packaging, it says metal surge protector. It doesn't say mostly plastic with a little bit of metal. And I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, it's metal. I mean, some things say they're made of something, and it's only a little bit of it. Because any power strip needs to have some metal in it. I mean, the contacts have to be made of metal. The wire has to have metal in it. Otherwise, how are you going to conduct electricity? So every power strip, I guess, is technically a metal power strip. So generally, though, I think that metal power strip means the entire case is made of metal, not just the little front piece here. And this isn't even terribly heavy gauge metal. I mean, I don't know, you can't really tell by looking at it, but just holding it, the weight of it, and if I tap on it, it just feels cheap and flimsy. Whereas something like this, and I'm not even trying to endorse this as the best power strip in the world, but this thing is freaking heavy, it's much heavier than this. That's because it's made of heavy gauge metal. Now, not only is this, in my opinion, false advertising, but I wrote a review of this on Home Depot's website. Now, that review was very nice in the sense that it didn't have any cursing and I explained myself in a very rational and polite fashion, but what I said was, this metal power strip is not metal. It didn't meet my expectations, one star. Home Depot denied my review. They refused to put it up on their site. They sent me an email back saying, oh, I'm so sorry, it didn't meet our requirements. 
Meanwhile, they cited a bunch of things that don't even have anything to do with my review. Like don't put personal information, don't put customer service and sales experience in the review, which I didn't. I specifically focused on the product like they want me to. The fact that the product is bullshit, well, that's not my fault, that's their fault. Oh, and it's also cheaply made. Now this is $13 compared to a $4 power strip. Granted, it does have surge protection, which I guess commands a premium, even though making surge protection circuits are so fucking cheap nowadays that, you know, anyone can do it. When I first brought this home, I decided to take it apart and see what's inside of it. See like if maybe there's metal under this plastic. I took off one screw and then I said, you know what? I'm just gonna return it. I don't wanna ruin it. So I'm not gonna take it apart completely. So I went to put that screw back in. I turned it without even using much force. It just stripped the plastic threads and it would barely hold on there. So that means this plastic isn't even good quality plastic. It's cheap, soft, shitty plastic. And if the screws don't bite in there well, that means this thing's probably gonna fall apart eventually. I can't prove that because I haven't owned it very long. In fact, I just took the second one I bought out of the packaging. And the only reason I bought this one was so they can make an angry YouTube video about it. So there you go, Home Depot. You're getting sales for all the wrong reasons. Now, just for fun, let's take this apart and see what kind of crap is inside. I bet it's no better than any other plastic, shitty, cheap power strip. All right, there it is, eight screws. And now, end cap comes off. Another end cap off, it's kinda got the cord on it, so can't take it off completely. And now the piece de resistance, the metal part of the metal power strip. At least the one remotely good thing about this is that all the components are actually attached to the metal on the top. Although, it's really nothing fancy. This is nothing beyond what you'd see in any other plastic power strip. In fact, the receptacles, they look like they're individual units or something. Gotta pry it away there, but they're all just part of one plastic piece. Again, metal power strip, but everything's held together with plastic. So build quality is not impressive in the least. I mean, you can see just me taking it apart, it's just kind of flailing around in there. And obviously the plastic back helps hold all this stuff in place, but I mean, not a horrible design, but again, not really anything above quality wise what you'd find in any other plastic power strip. So again, it's got this little front piece of metal and you can see not even really that thick of a metal. I mean, it's not as flimsy as I first expected, but it's nothing to write home about. So if you're in the market for a metal power strip, don't buy this one. In fact, don't buy any power strips at Home Depot because Home Depot apparently does not sell a metal power strip. This is the only one they sell that says metal on it. The rest of them are quite obviously plastic. So you either get stuck with this or nothing at all if you want metal. And I would rather go with nothing at all or just go with a plastic power strip and save yourself the money. So that's why this is complete bullshit. There's absolutely no point to this piece of crap. <laughs> this is the part of the YouTube video where people usually say, subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends. Don't share it with your friends. Share this video with Home Depot if you have the time. You know, put it on their Facebook page, mention it in tweet, plus it to them. I don't know how Google Plus works, but it's gotta work somehow. I'm just kidding, I'm on there. Uh, put me in your circles or whatever the fuck. But seriously, share this with Home Depot if you think this is bullshit, because I want them to know. And also, tell them to put my review back up on their site, because that too is bullshit.